Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine, my name is Isaac and we're back playing some Agrarians guys for episode 37 And the last episode we set up our little Emmy crafting cube down under here, this guy over here And uh, since last episode I've put a little bit of water on top, but that's fine, the, I'm sure uh, the electrics won't blow on this thing This is completely safe and uh, not dangerous whatsoever But uh, yeah, I've uh, set up the like farming block that we've got over here uh, We've got some cactus, we've got, like, a, we've got a ton of cactus seeds over in our Emmy system like a couple of hundred cactus seeds. It's pretty insane. I'll show you real quick here. Um, so yeah, between episodes, I have been yeah, like 153 cactus seeds. Gosh, uh, yeah. Between episodes, I've been moving everything over to here. So we've got wheat farm over here. We've got our ender lily seeds over here. Uh, on this one, at the minute, I've got carrots in um, sort of these two sections here, and then um, cotton in these two. And the way this works is, for those who don't know, in the planter, uh, you can actually designate where you, like different crops in different sections. Um, of the planted area. So for this one, I've got cotton seeds down this strip and then carrots down these two strips. It basically breaks it up into three uh, and does it like that. I'm not sure how it's done that because it's an odd number, but I think it's just these three to be cotton uh, and these four to be carrots. I think it's how it's done it when it's been an odd number. Um, but yeah, that's done that. And the way I've got this sort of like automated is if I've got power, I've moved these power cables up as well. And uh, all of the planters have an import bus on them, uh, which, oh sorry, an export bus on them, which basically takes stuff from the ME system and exports it into the planter. Uh, in this case, we've specified uh, wheat seeds because we want all the seeds to come into this planter so that it can plant them as soon as you want to harvest. And then over here on both of the um, harvesters, we have an import bus, which takes the stuff that the harvester collects and imports it into the AE system. So all of the wheat, cotton, and carrots that we get will go straight back into the ME system. And of course, all the seeds that we get from the wheat farm will go back into the AE system and then get st sent straight back over to the planter to be reused. And it basically makes us a nice, fully automatic farm. I have also done a few other things. I, I got rid of all these item ducks that were kind of in the way. They made it really hard to get uh, around this platform for one. And, and two, they're really slow. Like, the item ducks in general are just pretty slow at taking stuff from, like, here all the way around to the AE system. So what I've done, I put an import bus on, and basically anything that comes into this chest is now instantly imported into the AE system. And for those who don't know, these ME cables are pretty much instant. So as soon as it takes stuff out of there, it's instantly in the ME system. It doesn't take, like, the full two to three to five minutes it takes for uh, item ducks to carry stuff along. It's, uh, it's instantaneous. So uh, what we've done now is I just moved it uh, from here over to there, connected all that up. We had to keep these here because or we didn't really have to, but I chose to keep these here because it allowed it to go through this thing still, all these cyclic assemblers. And oh, what's up with this? Why are we not getting tin? Is that configured? This is configured wrong. There's no output. Oh, look at all this. We've got so much tin that we're not using. Right, which way is that supposed to be output? Oh, look at this. All this time we have so much tin. Look at Jesus Christ. We've got like stacks and stacks of tin waiting to be smelted. Gosh. Okay, well, good thing we found that. Um, but yeah, we had to reroute it so it still goes all the way through here. But anyway, uh, the chest here, it takes all the stuff, puts it straight in the A system. It, it's just a lot faster. So that is pretty much what I've done since the last episode. I don't think I've done too much else. We've got cactus farm, sugar cane, uh, carrot, wheat, seeds. Yeah, all the seeds and stuff. Uh, I'll just cut this down real quick and plant some more. Thank you very much. You're the best. And do this. We haven't got a way of automating this yet, but I would like to get a way to automate this. Um, I've got a couple of ideas in mind, but we'll get to that at a future episode. Also, uh, automating this, I want to do some cool stuff with conveyor belts uh, to hopefully automate the cactus and stuff. Actually, I might do something similar with sugarcane. Uh, not 100% yet, but we'll get to that later on. Uh, we need to get back to the to the matter at hand. We want to get jetpack. Jetpacks were our plan for like they've been like our plan for like five episodes now. We still can't get them because we still don't have enough leather. Oh God, why? Are you... How? What the? Okay, so I put a bunch of wheat in the breeder over here, and baby cows are escaping because there is no blocks over to say. Oh, okay. You know, every time, every. Go, no, go, just. There we go. That, that'll do. You guys, you're done. You, 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 you're, just, you're just done. I'll get you in a minute. We've got a bunch of wool to get rid of. 43 wool, Jesus. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's get you. Come 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 What? What? what have you, come, come, that, thank you. You can. If you can nudge in there. There you go, there you go. You, you can become one of the baby cows, uh, one of the big boy cows and breed for, for a living. Uh, so yeah, I put a bunch of wheat in here. So these are breeding. Uh, they send the um, the babies get moved over by the chronotyper into this section and then the grinder should be working. It's not for whatever reason. Um, output blocked or something or? Um, why are you not working? Hmm. That's 
should be going out. I don't think it needs a server one. Uh, I can try to put a server one in a second. I uh, put a bunch of dirt down all the way around here and used up my last grass seed to uh, to put grass down. And that is why we are finally getting wool. Uh, thanks to everyone in the comment section who told me that. I had no idea that you needed uh, grass down for sheep to grow wool. I found that is a thing. And what I want to do this episode is, first of all, I want to hook up the breeder and the rancher with uh, the import and export buses. So what we're going to have is we're going to have... Um, on the breeder, we're going to have an export bus so, um, so it continues to keep it supplied with wheat so that the cows can always be breeding uh, and so on and so forth. And then the babies will get moved over. And then as soon as they grow up, they'll get grinded down. And we'll get a bunch of leather. We'll get a nice infinite source of leather from that, which will be pretty nice. And we'd also like an import bus uh, from here as well. So we'd have to have this weird barrel just sort of like in the way all the time. So um, let's just quickly do this because this is going on me. I want my autonomous activator back. <laughs> This thing like costs diamonds and we've got it blocking cows from getting out of the pen. <laughs> it's pretty insane. So uh, yeah, let's see about that. And we're going to have to make ourselves a bunch of ME cabling now. I, uh, I did set a bunch of glass cooking up before the end of the episode. And that's something else we need to get in order. Glass. Well, I always need glass. It's always a real pain to go get it. You can see I've got some sand in my inventory. Uh, I was cooking some up. So we should have about a stack in here. But uh, let's have a look. ME cable. We've got some more export buses. Uh, let's see. ME cable. Can we take like... A stack? Almost. We've got 52. I think 52 might be enough, maybe? Possibly? Maybe? I'm not too sure. It might be enough. Um, now, we've got to connect this up somehow. Now, that stuff's all the way over there. We could go out and across. I think, actually, that might... Hmm. <laughs> that might be the best way to do it, but I'm not 100%. I mean, we could go the other way. Now, we do have a fluid... Uh, storage disk. We could start moving that mob essence because that, that bucket there is getting... Why is why is that one there just being, like oddly full? Usually it evens itself out. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what's causing that either. But we've, got, we've got so many interpearls. It's insane. But uh, we could start moving all this liquid into the ME disk instead of having it just sat there because that's going to fill up soon and we're going like, to get backlogged with ME uh, with mob essence and things are just not going to work or we're going to lose mob essence and I'm just rambling. Let's go ahead and set this up so that, um, hmm. now we're going to have to have a gap. Where did my pickaxe go? It's there. Now we're going to have to have a cable where that um, barrel is, but it's not going to be as bad as, as just having, can I do that? Is that going to, is that okay? Nah. That seems okay. All right. So we have that there, and then we have to have this running all the way along. And I'm just going to move it in for so it's in nice, <laughs> nicely in line with this. That's going to really annoy me. I'll, I'll fix it later. We'll, uh, we'll just do this. Jetpacks would make this so much easier. And the thing is, I think we've got pretty much everything we need for jetpacks, apart from the leather to make a leather tunic, which is flipping silly. <laughs> it's like we've got the, the ender pearls and the resonant ender and all that stuff. We just, we're just missing leather. That, <laughs> that's what we're missing. Ah, okay. Um... I'm going to start cobblestone because I got my pick. I can get rid of it easily. Let's just hook you up. I apologize. It's very dark. Uh, there's not many torches up here on the roof. Uh, but to be honest, we don't really spend that much time up here. So I think we'll be fine. Uh, let's get rid of you. And also, I think towards the end of this episode, I'm probably going to start on some magic stuff as well. I want to get some blood magic started off. And I think I'm going to do the first quest in the book for You're a Wizard, Steve. Uh, which basically involves getting the Thomonomicon and I believe getting... The sacrificial orb from Blood Magic as well, maybe? I think that's about right. And I think we should be able to head on up to that next platform now and connect these guys up. Hopefully we have enough, fingers crossed. And we also do need a bit to um, to connect up the breeder as well. Because we didn't hook that guy up. So, let's have a look. Are we okay? Do we? Yeah. Let's hook you up there. And then we'll bring this guy in and across. And... And just laying cable. And are we going to have enough? Maybe. 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 Definitely. 100%. There is no doubt about it. We have enough cable. Good stuff. Not if I keep wasting like this we want. Okay. So I'll grab you back. And I'll take you back. Thank you very much. Okay. So now we've got those guys. We should probably go and get ourselves some export buses. So yes. It's export buses we want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, did I even check? We might have some... Uh, come on. <laughs> come on. I also made some more apple juice. We might actually have some leather in them barrels and do uh, under the cows. Um, yeah, I'll have to go check that. Anyway, let's go uh, Let's go get ourselves some export buses. So, we do... Actually, I think we have two already, don't we? 
We might, have to, we might not even have to make us some. Uh, Xbox, that's not how you spell Xbox, Isaac. Uh, we have a basic one, a precision one. I didn't really want to use the, the precision Xbox bus because it's kind of better than the normal one. But uh, I guess if I need it for something else, I can always come and, uh, come and get it back. Uh, take it up off this thing and use it again somewhere. Um, we are only going to need one, actually, aren't we? We're going to need one for the breeder here. And I think that's about it. Now, this could be a pain, actually. Um, or maybe it's... No, yeah, no, I don't think it will be. We just break this. We'll put it here, the end is there. And then we'll hook it up to the cables like this. Do we have... We don't have build crap. Can we get facades? That's a shame. Facades are pretty cool. They allow you to cover up these uh, ME cables, much like covers do. Um, but without Buildcraft, we can't cover them up. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, um, so if that's the case, we're just going to have to live with what we've got. Um, hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down. I'm going to move this. Do I have some more? I do have some spec. Let's turn energy conduits. Good stuff. Let's go like this and bring this down. I just want to be able to use that path. It's going to be really annoying if we can't. And I'm not too bothered about uh, down here being a bit messy. So we'll hook that back up there. And I think that should be okay. And actually, I'm going to put that ME cable. What I think I will do is put it here. We'll have, we need an import bus for this one though, not an export bus because we're taking stuff out and moving it about. So, uh, do we have any leather? We've got two leather. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a bit, I guess. It's not um, enough for what we need, but it's, it's a start. I think we've got four in total now. What is it, eight? Yeah, we need eight for for a tunic. So, we're getting there. We're getting there. Not not quite there, but we're getting there. Let's, <laughs> let's throw this in the system. And let's get ourselves an import bus. So, we need a piston into a sticky piston. Which I would like to do with rubber, which we don't have. Okay, I won't do it with rubber. I'll do it with slimes. Gosh, look at this being all traditional, doing it with slimes. I don't think we have any conversion matrix. But last episode, we taught our system how to make basic processes. So we have a ton of them. And things are all good. We're going to need some more flux dust. We taught our system how to make nether quartz dust. So I've got a ton of that stuff now. Uh, I've just used it all. But there we go. And are we good to go? Maybe. Let's make one of you. Let's make one of you. We are missing glass. It's always glass. How are we out of glass? Oh, I just... No, why, how are we out of glass? I must... <sighs> I must have just used, like, all of it making those ME cables. That's a pain. Ah, okay. Time to head on back down and get some more glass, I guess, then. Let's grab some of you. These cables are a real pain to navigate. I need some... Some sand. There we go. And then I can jump back up there we there we go <laughs> it's like the most uh, that platform there is so like congested and full of stuff and this one's just like so empty and full of nothingness i might spread some stuff out at some point because that's just that's just insanely full uh let's throw you in there and hopefully things should start happening let's drink some apple juice because i'm just really thirsty we just got like a, a solid diet of apple juice going here this is an apple a day oh, like eighteen a thousand apples a day keeps the doctors at bay all the way. I like it there. Uh, <laughs> import bus. Let's get... Can we get one of you now, please? Oh, no. We don't even need glass. We need ME cables. What are you playing at, Isaac? Ah, okay. We probably have, like, a ton of glass. Uh, we need another ME cable. Perfect. So, yeah. How much glass do we have now? What's we've got, like, a stack? Yeah, we've got 105 glass. <laughs> GG, Isaac. GG. Input. Import. Here we go. And Boom. Done. Nice. Okay, so we'll leave you there, and we'll go hook this guy up, and then I think we are pretty much good and set up and done on this thing. So, let's take all of the wool. Let's get rid of this appetite. Let's break you. And let's have the import bus on the side here. So, we'll break this. They shouldn't be able to get out of that hole. And then we'll have an import bus there. And ME cable underneath, which we don't have. But then it will allow us to just cover this up nicely. And still be able to walk down the middle of our path, which is pretty nice. So, do, do, do. Do that. Make it look nice. Go grab one more piece of ME cable, or maybe two. We'll just make a... Uh, I think you get six, maybe. Do we get six when we make a set? Possibly. ME cable. We've got one. 
We've got two. I think two will be enough. We've got so much junk in our inventory. Let me just get rid of some of this crud that we don't need. We've got three, but just separate it out. We've got a bunch of crud. Uh, I think this heart canister actually gives us extra hearts, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'll check that out in a sec. Don't need half of this junk. <laughs> I'll keep some of that. And yeah, that looks good. Does this actually give us extra hearts? I have no idea how you use this. Permanent health increase. Yeah, I don't know how you use it, but I'll, that, I would have assumed you just right click with it, but apparently not. If anyone knows how you get the extra permanent hearts, please do let me know. I would, uh, I would like to have those extra hearts. Uh, how are we gonna get down here? Actually, we can make we can make uh, we can make blocks. Oh my god, we can <laughs> we can make um, elevator blocks. That is what I am doing right now. Let me get some. We've got a bunch of wool, uh, which is good. Let me get like one of our billion ender pearls that we've got uh, stashed around the place, and let's go make elevator blocks. I'm putting elevator blocks everywhere. Everywhere he's gonna have elevator blocks because I am fed up of these stairs and this winding pathways all over the place. So. Uh, elevator blocks, elevator, elevator, there we go, and boom, okay, one, two, and we're out, <laughs> three, I, I <laughs> no, but that's how many we're having, we're having six, we could have made more, but we're out of what, so we'll take six, right, I'm gonna have one, um, where am I gonna have one, I think, um, I'm not too f fussed about this, I quite like this staircase I've got here, uh, I'm okay with that. I'm probably going to get rid of that rope ladder. The rope ladder is kind of annoying. Uh, so I'll put one inside the house. I will put a set uh, over on that platform over there. And then I'm sure we'll find somewhere to put the last set. So we will go down here. Break the rope ladder. Like that. Put one of you there. And one of you there. And this is awesome. Look at this. Boo! 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 Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, I don't even love the sound effects. That are totally not made by me. <laughs> uh, actually, we might put one on the lower floor of this as well, just for easiness sake. Is that... Where's below this? It's there. And that's the void. Um, Yeah, why not? Boo! Okay. Boo! And then we can put two more down over here somewhere, and then we've got one spare, which I'm sure we'll find... Uh, we'll, get, we'll have enough wall sooner or later, because now we've got this set up. Uh, wall should be coming from all over the place, so... Let's say, is this the middle somewhere? Um, let's see. The middle's about here, I think. Is that, oh, there's no middle to this, is there? Ah, that's a pain. <laughs> that's a real pain. Uh, it's fine. We'll let our OCD, we'll leave our OCD aside and we'll just go and put that there. Again, just over the void. Is that right? Hey, it is. Nice. So now we can get up and down pretty easily. Good stuff. Okay, we need to hook, do we need to hook this up? Uh, yes, we do. Okay. Put you there. And now that should instantly start pulling all of the wool that's in there back into the A system. And I think everything is now pretty much good to go. How in the world we got ender pearls in there? I do not know. Actually, yeah, I probably do know. Um, <laughs> we'll have spawned some endermen about. What the heck is going on over here? We'll have, uh, we'll have spawned some endermen in there and they'll have teleported into there. Uh, somebody tell me in the comment section that the, the, oh God, the monster noises. Somebody tell me in the comment section the area for the auto spawner is bigger than 5x5. Five five. I can't remember exactly how big it was. Um, so sorry about that, but it is bigger than that. That's why they were spawning just around and outside. I'm not sure what's up with this. It's been a, usually it like levels itself out nicely. It's been a bit buggy. Not gonna lie, it's been a bit buggy. But uh, anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that for now. We'll uh, probably set up the uh, fluid discs and all that stuff uh, sometime soon. What we're gonna do for now is we are gonna get ourselves a Thomonomicon because if we look in here, the first quest under your wizard, Steve, is a Thomonomicon and a sacrificial orb. Actually, if I have remember correctly, the sacrificial orb is actually really easy to make. Uh, sacrificial orb. This guy here. Boom. Done. Is that it? <laughs> Do we have to submit? Hey, it's done. Nice. Now, the Thomonomicon, not like the hardest thing in the world to make, but not as simple. Take a bookshelf. Then we need to take a wand, which we can make like this. A stick and <laughs> two iron caps. It actually, it's kind of easy to make. Um, iron. Let's get, how many are we going to need? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Did that give us a set of two? I can't remember. Uh, I guess we'll find out. It gives us one, okay. We, uh, well, we can make one more. There we go. Take you, put you there, put you there. Get rid of all you. And a stick. Watch, we, I bet we don't have a stick. I bet we don't have one. Yeah, we never do. We never do. <laughs> right, we'll keep all of these. Grab a stick. 
put you in the middle. And we have ourselves a wand, an iron capped wand. And I think a thermonomicon is just this. Maybe? Hey, there we go. Thermonomicon, nice. So now we can look through this thing and do all sorts of cool thorn crafty stuff, research exp expertise, advanced node tapping, I think. This is actually a differently laid out than in uh, Feed the Beast Monster. It is. Sky Alchemy, EXA, what the heck? From something. Wow, it's Skyblock. Wow, okay, so this has been like tweaked a bit for, is this like Skyblock Thorncraft? I'm not too sure, that's pretty awesome, we have to look into that. But so we have our Thorncraft, we can uh, give it into the system, and it's gonna give us a fresh one, which is nice. Manual submit, let's, uh, let's take, ooh, a Rune of Sacrifice or a Rune of Self-Sacrifice. Now, I haven't played with Blood Magic enough to know what any of this stuff does. I've played with it like, for an episode or two in Magic World 2, like a couple of months ago now. So I am just going to go with this one. <laughs> Let me ward. I have no idea if that was the right choice or not. It's a greater bag. Wow. Okay. So clearly they know by default this is not like... It, it's not a hard one to get, but you do have to play the game for a little while to be able to get like the stuff to make a bookshelf and then like gold and iron and stuff. It's not the easiest task to do. Uh, let's have a look. What do we get? More purple, <laughs> more purple stairs. Yay. We can add to our house. Beautiful. So let's go and let's add to our... I want to see how much leather we have. Do we have any leather? I think we've got... I want to make a jetpack. we got four. Ah, hopefully by next episode, we'll have some leather. We can make a jetpack and we can do some more cool um, Thorncraft stuff as well. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this platform yet. Um, at the minute, it's just kind of housing my um, berries. Which we don't really need that much right now because of the fact that we've got all this apple juice. We're not really drinking them all that much. Um, but I'm, pff, I'm not sure. I'll probably move the berries over to the farm island. I probably won't get rid of them completely. Uh, but I think I might, I might make this like my little farmcraft lab or like, if, uh, I say a lab. It'll probably be just like an open platform with like infusion crafting on and stuff. Did that work in any ship of the imagination? No, it didn't. Because <laughs> it didn't. Um, can we... <laughs> okay, I was gonna... I was going to try and have these blocks going all the way around, but uh, I guess for now, we'll just go and put these back in the Aces, and we'll set them up some other time. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll call it there, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like. Uh, in the next couple episodes, we're going to be signing some Thorncraft stuff. We're going to be getting some jetpacks, because flipping heck, we need jetpacks. Hopefully, we can complete the Bragging Rights quest, and I also want to move all of the mob essence and some other liquids as well, like probably the lava, onto our 64k fluid storage disk. We've got a ton of stuff to do, guys. Uh, please leave a like if you did enjoy the video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.